Hey, what's going on? It's Nick from Magnetic Sponsoring. And the reason why I'm shooting this video for you right now is because the share bar kind of became a big hit um, from my late, latest video where I shared with you the three plugins that I use on all of my WordPress, WordPress blogs. And now what I was doing here was setting up this plugin on our Magnetic Sponsoring blog. And I decided, hey, why don't I record this so you can follow along and set up your share bar exactly how I did on my blog because there was a lot of questions on how to do some of the things that I had on there for instance how to make the like button appear correctly and also how to add the Google Plus option in there which is something you have to do manually but after this video you're gonna be able to do that so first of all let's head on over to our dashboard and I'm gonna show you a couple of the settings things which I also showed in the last video but just to recap real quick you're gonna to want to set your minimum width and pixels required to show the vertical share bar to 1224 and the reason why you want to do this is because like I said before this is what I tested and optimized to fit any browser size from computers to actually iPhones and iPads even it works so basically what happens is if the browser is not going to fit the vertical share bar it's going to cut it off or it's going to disappear behind um, the browser the background then what's going to happen is it's going to pop up as a horizontal bar. You got to make sure this is displayed, actually. This is checked in order for that to happen. So I have it checked off because you see on our blog we already have a little widget thing in there, and that comes with our theme. So next thing real quick, I set my share bar width to 70, and the reason for that is because some of the plugins that we're going to add are going to need to be a little bit wider than the 65, I believe, that's already set at. So make sure you set that to 70 for this specific tutorial. All right, so first things first now, let's go fix that Facebook like button. Because as you see, I'm going to zoom in here. You can see that it's cut off right there and it's cut off right there. And that's how it actually comes with the share bar plugin. So let's head on over to our Facebook like. And over here, we'll click edit. And once in here, let's zoom up here, you're going to change the width to 50 pixels, and you're going to change the height to 65. Now, don't worry about any of this right here. Those aren't going to affect what we just did here. All you got to do is change those two. So we'll update our button, and I'll head on over to the blog real quick and show you that our like button is actually going to be whole, finally. So let's zoom in there. You can see that our like button actually looks good now, and it's not being cut off. So the second thing, and one of the biggest questions actually, was how to set up your Google+. Plus. Now to do this, you're going to have to add a new button. So you click the Add New Button here, and we'll name it Google+. Plus. And I'm going to put it in our third position, and we're going to click Enable. So now there's a couple things you're going to have to do with code, and I have them copied here. Now I'm going to have a blog post I'll post under this video as well for you to see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include the code there so you can go copy it so you don't have to manually type this out from this video. That could be kind of tedious. So we'll add the button. But you'll notice if you just click add button, go refresh your page, it won't show up. And the reason for this is because there's also a script to make sure that when someone's clicking the Google Plus button, it's actually plusing your site. So We'll go into Appearance and Editor, and some of you may be working with Thesis or a theme that provides an area to actually post code in your header section, but if it doesn't, that's okay. Go to your Appearance and Editor, and we'll head into the, editor, uh, the header.php file, and then we'll scroll down, and we'll find the section just before our closing header. So let's go here, we'll copy, and we'll head back and paste it just before our header. So now that we got that in there, we'll update file and I'll show you in just a second as soon as this loads here. So now that it's loaded, let's head on over and refresh our page and you'll see that our Google Plus button appeared. So there it is right there and you can see that it actually is pretty congruent with everything going on up here because it's the same script. So now we got all three of our buttons here. Uh, I'm going to move the like one above our tweet button, and I'm also going to go show you real quick how to edit 
your share because I'm going to add a little share in here because sharing on Facebook is also a, quite a big deal when it comes to blog posts. So let's head on over to our share bar real quick. And you'll see that there's this option that's called share this. Now it has email and share in there. And we don't want email and share in there because when you put that in your share bar, you'll see that it kind of looks weird. It's not even. So all you got to do is we'll zoom up here real quick is delete these all the way up to the Facebook one. So right here, delete these two. So we'll delete those two. And we'll also delete these two. Now when we update, here we'll enable it so I can show you what it looks like. We'll update our button, zoom out, and let's head into our share bar. So now you'll see that our share, our Facebook share is just the box and if you if you want to see what it looked like before just go ahead and enable it real quick and you'll see clearly why I took those two out. So now we have a pretty clean looking share bar. I'm going to move this up be above our tweet and all you got to do to do that is organize them in the way that I showed you. So that's the share bar in a nutshell. I hope that this video was very helpful and letting you set up your share bar. So leave me a comment below if you enjoyed this video and I'll be talking to you soon.